Good afternoon, everybody. It's our Mike. I hope you're having a great Friday afternoon. Um, today, I got a, another wireless charging receiver in. I'm not going to go over the receiver. It is by Monoi, but that's pretty much all you need to know. You know how these work. You've seen my other videos of wireless charging on my LG G4, on my LG V10 here. I have my Yotec, which is no longer made. There's been some issues with that, with the company. But my Yotec, the one I got, worked fine. Here's my original backing for my G4, my V10, and you can see here I have my Yotec um, wireless charging plus NFC, and this has not failed me. It's actually worked fine. Um, I did have somebody else comment really quickly about my white backing on the last video, but being this, wanting to know if this one is an authentic or real one that is made for the Verizon version or for the actual LG V10. It's not a knockoff. And from what I can see with the imprinting and coding, pat the patenting, all that stuff, everything is the exact same markings and all. The only thing you'll notice here, this is V6, so version 6-3. This one's version 3-1. So I don't know if they made a, diff a couple more different versions of this. But all the markings and everything pretty much match up identically on these backings. Everything looks identical. So, you know, like I said, this is the white one that has the Verizon marking there with the V10. Same thing as our original black. So, I have my wireless charging on this. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to take off your original NFC coil and put on a wireless charging coil that has NFC. And we will go through how the process of doing that. So, let's go ahead and get started. Let me clear everything out of the way. Alright, so first thing we're going to do with this backing, before I even start prying away the sticker that covers the NFC coil, we're going to mark on here around our connectors exactly where these are sitting. This is probably a better method of knowing exactly where these sat without having to go into fine detail if using some type of pinning or anything else. It's just better to leave a small trace of where the original one had sat. So that way you kind of know, you have an idea of where these connectors should sit. So you can see here, I have a nice blue marking of where these should be, if I can get that to focus for us. There we go. So you can see right there, that's where we want our NFC marking to be over here. And then our wireless, our coil, charging coil marking will be on this side over here. But for that one, we're not going to mark it. We just want to make sure we line that one up straight. And if I can peel off the sticker without damaging... Our NFC underneath will make a marking of that as well, so we'll do that next. Alright, so I went ahead and started peeling back our sticker. As you can see, the sticker covering the NFC coil comes off pretty easily. I know some people have said you guys have had issues getting yours off. They're really, really sticky. They're on there good. Best thing to do is if you have trouble pulling yours off, take a hairdryer and heat it up a little bit so that way the adhesive loosens. That way you can just peel this back. So we'll peel that back just to reveal our coil. That way we can do our outlining. So as you can see, here is our coil, pretty small. So we'll do an outlining of where this sits, so we know where the new coil needs to sit exactly. And I will pause the video for a second to finish some cleanup here. Okay, so now that our adhesive residue is off, I'll try to get in here closely so you can see this, where I've marked it. And you can see where I have made my lining going around of where the coil and the ribbon would sit. Going down just a little ways. I'm not going to go down the whole thing. And then at the bottom here, this is the platelet upside down. At the bottom I marked where this should sit, where it should be level around with a little corner there and a corner over here. That way we know where the bottom of our coil should be. And this side should line up perfectly fine where it needs to be over here. So let's go ahead and peel this off and put our new one in place. Okay, so when peeling the original NFC tag off, try to grab on any corner you can around where you can reach your finger underneath and start picking at it. You want to lift it enough to where you can start to see the gold coil underneath. And now we can actually get a good grab on this from here and start peeling this back. So as you can see, that's actually coming up pretty good. Okay, so now that I have that 
peeled back. Now I can actually just start pulling away nice and gently, not super fast, but gently. And peel all this down. Get down to here. We might have some extra excess coil to pull off still. These coils are on pretty good. Just take our time. And you'll see there is our gold coil. Sends our signal. The NFC. And it looks like I might have a little extra to work on here. So I have a little more to work on. Okay, so as you can see, I have everything off. No more residue, no more leftover parts. You want to get as much as you can of the old coil off, so that way nothing's raised. You don't have any interference from the old coil and the new one. We have our, out mar our outlining. As you can see, some of this got messed up when I was peeling it off because my fingers rubbed against it. And being that this ink is not like a permanent marker, it will kind of rub if you put enough pressure on it, it come off on your finger or whatever you're using, even a towel probably, or a damp cloth. So now we are set to go ahead and install our new coil. Set this right here, and let me get the new one out of the package and ready. Okay, so I've gone on ahead and laid this one down to just kind of test fit it to see where this should sit compared to where the original coil was. One thing you'll notice down here at the bottom is this coil is actually just a tenth of an inch longer than the original one, but we can still line it up exactly where it needs to be make sure it looks good and we can put this in place not a problem so what we'll do next is go ahead and peel back our adhesive and we will get this ready get this installed there's our new coil already there we're going to line up our upper section here first I'm not going to push down all the way yet because I want to make sure this lines up down here with our marking down below, which it does on this side. So push that down a little bit. We'll check over here, see if we can somewhat see our marking we had over here. And yeah, that appears to match that little dot there and down here. So that looks good. So now we'll just place this, push this in place, make sure the adhesive sticks well. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do for installing a new uh, NFC coil with wireless charging installed. And then you have your uh, sticker, your cover that goes over this, basically acting as your shield in case this gets hot. And helps with, uh, you notice the other one had some silver inside, helps with heat dispersion and whatnot. All right, so now the coil's on nice and tight. It's all good and flat. We're gonna take a wet uh, rubbing cloth here or a lens cleaning wipe that has alcohol on it just to clean up all our blue or excess blue that is around the device on the backing here make sure it comes out nice and clean looks decent so you don't have all those markings everywhere and blue spots get as much of that stuff off as we can that way we don't have any type of interference here make sure all our connectors are clean come down the side here I really don't have too much else on here so everything else was covered so now that's good, all we need to do left now is just put on our decal, our sticker to cover, and uh, we'll give it a, a testing. Okay, so I got our sticker on. Now we're just gonna go over and rub everything in. You can see that if you rub hard enough here, you can actually see the outlines of the uh, connection lines, the gold plate lines that actually run through and give it your NFC and your wireless charging here can make those out right there. So we're just going to make sure it's on nice and stiff. Everything's all tight. We don't have any air gaps. We're going to make sure our sticker, our backing here looks good. Looks all original. And there you go. There is our wireless charging and NFC coil receiver here on our white backing for the, Veri the Verizon LG V10. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, so my phone is on. We have 85% battery life, so we're pretty good right now. Um, our 
charging station here is plugged in, ready to go. This is a three coil charging station, which I've shown off in another video. You can just look it up online. We'll put it on place. And there is our sounder showing we are getting juice. Just to confirm, we'll look here at our battery dial really quick. And if you can make that out, you can see it's topping off right there. And you can barely see the outline of the Thunderbolt showing that we are juicing. Another way we can look is we pull down the notification bar. We can see here temperature fully charged in 2 hours and 16 minutes. So that will recalculate. This actually, this whole charging notification is from the Battery Widget Reborn application. Um, it will actually just take a little bit to show. Down here, we can see wirelessly charging 85% this collecting battery information. Please wait. So that is more likely what we want to see down below. Um, this is our mic. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I hope this tutorial of showing you how to do these worked, and please enjoy.